So microscoping and telescoping basically mean focusing in on a very, very small area and then zooming back out to contextualize it. So let's talk about these things a little bit. So microscoping might mean getting down to something as granular as one note because the more you focus, the more details you can notice about an important piece of your puzzle. And sometimes you may need to put all your attention on just one note. You know, if, if, so if I'm working on this Bach double here again, and I find, oh my gosh, look, this, this B flat in the sixth measure, I don't know what string I'm supposed to do it on. So I might need to spend a couple of minutes being like, okay, where's there? There's a B flat there. There's a B flat there. Uh, given what's around it, there's a C sharp around it. Uh, that's not going to work. You know, I might have to look a little bit. I might have to find... Okay, good. It took me a minute to figure out, okay, where am I going to play this B flat? Am I going to play it here? Am I going to play it here? Is it even in the right octave? I took all my attention and I put it on that one note and tried to make a decision about where to play it. And that let me actually make the decision. Whereas if I'm always trying to play from the beginning and just ram through it, I might not even notice that I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to play that note or which finger I'm supposed to play it with. So when you focus, when you narrow your focus down to fewer things, you're able to do more with them. You're able to pay more attention and get better at them. And then once you've done your kind of spaced repetition, you've repeated the little piece that you focused on a bit, you can go on to other things or you can zoom out a little bit. So another really critical concept that has to do with microscoping and telescoping is this concept of handles. So handles are, are what I mean by that is it's a little bit before and a little bit after the part you want to focus on that helps you contextualize what you're doing. So again, if I look at the B flat in the uh, sixth bar of this Bach double here, um, you know I, I could I can't answer the question: Do I play it here or here? If I don't know what's going on around it. So unless I kind of know, there's a C sharp, like that's a part of the phrase it's in. Hmm, I'll bust there. If I don't notice that that's a phrase that it's a part of, I don't know whether I, where I should play it. I can't logically just even, I can't even answer that question. So, and then when I really try to put it back together in the context of the piece, if I just figured out, okay, here's this note, it's just kind of this note that's floating there. Um, whereas when I've contextualized it with something a little bit before and a little bit after, when I zoom out to play the whole piece again, I know where it goes. So microscoping, zooming in, handles the things kind of right around the area that you're working on to help you grab it and then telescoping, which is zooming back out and putting what you worked on together with everything else you've done so far. These are really important techniques in breaking down a piece and learning how to do it.